hey guys welcome back to my channel so today in this session we shall be talking about the clubbing and mainly i will try to discuss the clinical aspects of the clubbing i'm sure you must have seen the patients who are having the clubbing uh, now it might be uh, during your postings medicine postings or surgery postings or it might be due to the uh, in your internship uh, period or uh, maybe during the residency period right so uh, the clubbing is something which is very commonly uh, seen in, in many patients right and there could be the different causes will come to that but uh, let's try to figure out that how to approach the patients who are having the clubbing how to uh, uh, clinch to the diagnosis that what disease might uh, you know cause the clubbing in any kind of patient which you are seeing right so uh, if we talk about the clubbing guys uh, clubbing is a physical sign which is characterized by the bulbous enlargement right bulbous enlargement of the terminal portion of the ends of one or more finger or the toes right so that is the clubbing so there is a bulbous swelling which is happening in the terminal part of the fingers and the toes along with that there could be the increase in the soft tissue mass right so there could be the increase in the soft tissue mass due to that uh, the clubbing happens generally right so what happens is that uh, we will be talking about the grading or the staging of the clubbing as well but you know in the later stages of the clubbing there is a increased anterior posterior and the transverse diameter both the diameters will be increased and they are happening due to the proliferation of subungual connective tissue now what is the subungual connective tissue sub sub means under ungual means uh, that is the nail right so under the nail the proliferation of the connective tissue is happening right and that's how the clubbing is seen mainly in the terminal portion of the finger and the toes right so what i said the clubbing is a physical sign which is characterized by bulbous enlargement which is happening in one or more ends of the finger or the toes please do remember that clubbing is not a diagnosis but is a sign of any kind of disease so the diagnosis would be something which is different but due to that particular disease the clubbing might be seen right so the clubbing or jaundice or anemia these are the not the these are not the diagnosis rather these are the sign of some particular disease i hope you are understanding me right so that is the thing over here so what things are happening first thing i told you that there is an increase in the soft tissue mass and second thing which i told you that there is a there is a proliferation of there is a proliferation right there is a proliferation of subungual connective tissue right there is a proliferation of subungual connective tissue i mean under the nail or under the nail there is a proliferation of the connective tissue that's how the clubbing is seen in the patients right so what we are talking about as you can see in the picture as well that here the person is having right so this is the grade 4 clubbing you can say that uh, the person are having very big nails over here right and you can see the anterior posterior anterior posterior means this diameter right and the transverse means here to here here to here right so this is the finding which we can see in the uh, you know the advanced stages of the clubbing right so anterior posterior and the transverse diameter both will be increased in the uh, advanced stages of clubbing right i hope till now we are clear now one more thing i would like to highlight over here is guys that here in this particular picture we can see i have compared actually deliberately i have compared the two pictures over here one is the normal finger which all of you are having right i suppose and uh, on the right hand we are talking about the clubbing in the finger right so what is the basic difference if you will see you know this is the nail right this is the nail and this is the nail bed this is the nail bed so if you will see the angle between the nail and the nail bed that is around 160 to 160 to 165 degree in the fingers right and in the thumb if you talk about that is around 175 degree but i'm not going into that but just remember that in the normal fingers we are having a angle between the nail and nail bed that is around 160 degree but if it is increasing then that is seen in the clubbing of fingers the clubbed finger the clubbed finger will be having the disruption of this angle and this angle is greater than around 180 degrees so if this angle is greater than 180 degrees then probably it is the clubbed finger or there is a clubbing in the fingers it might be seen in the toes as well 
I hope you got the idea. This particular sign, if the angle between the nail and the nail bed, if it is increased, then it is called as the Levy bond sign or the profile sign, right? So this is what this is the Levy bond sign, right? Very important. This is the Levy bond Levy bond sign, or it is also called as a profile sign, or this is also called as a profile sign. I hope all of you are with me at this point of time. Till now we have talked about very small thing that what is the clubbing basically what is the cause of the clubbing and what are the angles which we are seeing in the normal finger and the clubbing of finger this angle okay which we are which i am telling you that if it is uh, greater then it is the levy bond sign or the profile sign now clubbing of the finger has been described with the different names right so clubbing is also referred to as the hippocratic fingers right so i'm just writing some of the names these are the historical names over here so clubbing is also called as the hippocratic finger right these are also called as the hippocratic finger sometimes these are tested in the mcqs or the questions as well right this is also called as the hippocratic fingers it is also called as the watch glass nails by the way let me tell you why it is called as the hippocratic fingers because it was first described by the hippocrates in the 5th century bc that's why it is called as the hippocratic fingers now other synonyms can be like watch glass nails so hippocratic fingers then other synonyms like watch glass nails because of the appearance only nothing else right due to the imagination then another name it could be very very popular one drumstick fingers right again on the basis of imagination nothing else drumstick fingers right now sometimes it is uh, because it is looking like a parrot beak the clubbing of the finger it looks like a parrot beak right isn't it so parrot beak is something like this right so that's why uh, they are comparing it with that so this is the parrot beak right you can say parrot beak finger or parrot beak uh, nails basically not finger parrot beak nails basically they will be seen in what that is the clubbing of the finger right sometimes uh, because the anterior posterior and the transfer diameter can be uh, more so that's why ductilo megali ductilo means finger megali means uh, larger so ductilo megali is another term which shall be used over here so which can be seen over here essential ductilo megali right so these are some of the things over here now by the way let me tell you clubbing is usually painless clubbing is usually painless however there are the conditions where the clubbing can be painful as well right we'll talk about that later on right i hope till now we have understood what we have studied till now we have studied that what is the sign or what is the clubbing basically how it looks like what are the profile sign or the levy bond sign what are the different synonyms for the clubbing over here now let me tell you over here how do we make the uh, uh, make the sign of the diagnose uh, or i would say that how do you diagnose the clubbing in the patient again clubbing is not a diagnosis in itself Tr clubbing is some particular sign which can be seen in some of the disease right there are many disease which can cause the clubbing over here clubbing over there but we need to diagnose that disease which is causing this clubbing right but again clubbing could be a very important sign uh, in you know finding out the disease which is causing it so how do you diagnose that it is clubbing or not so for the particular diagnosis of the clubbing we need to make sure that these signs are met for example for the diagnosis of clubbing i am writing over here for the diagnosis of clubbing if you uh, want to make the diagnosis of clubbing right so these two criteria should match over there right so first criteria over there is that that is the dpd ipd ratio please be with me over here dpd ipd ratio means so look at this particular image right so here what we can see is we are having two things Right, this is the normal on the other one side and another side is we are having a clubbing right so ipd means the interphalangeal joint right and dpd means distal phalangeal joint right so if usually in the normal scenario ipd is more than the dpd so this ipd this ipd is more than the dpd of course you can see over here but when it reverses or the DPD is to IPD ratio is more than one then this is the clubbing as we can see over here so what is happening you can see the anterior posterior diameter is increasing anterior posterior diameter is increasing over here 
right so due to that the distal phalangeal joint right the diameter of that will be increasing as compared to the ipd so dpd is more than ipd or dpd ipd ratio if it is more than one right if it is more than one then this is clubbing second one i would like to highlight over here that is the shamrock sign right that is shamrock sign very very famous one very popular one and i hope everybody must have heard about that as well so let's revise that shamrock sign but before shamrock sign i would like to highlight over here what is shamrock's window right i hope you must have heard about that as well so here this is the normal scenario and this is the clubbed finger isn't it so in the normal scenario what we can see is everybody you should be actually uh, doing it with your fingers as well this is not harmful so you can do that obviously so uh, you what you need to do is as shown in the image as well you need to you know uh, you need to bring your two fingers parallel to each other and then look at the gap in between so what you can see is when you are matching your fingers or when you are approximating the fingers then what you can see there is a small gap right as you as you can appreciate over here as well there is a small gap which you can see over here so this small gap should be there this is normal actually this is physiological so this small gap is making a diamond like shape like this isn't it is making a diamond like shape like this so that's why this is called as the shamrock's window that is called as the shamrock's window okay shamrock's window please do remember this is totally totally physiological it should be present usually shamrock's window but when this window is lost for example in the second picture you can see when this gentleman approximated tried to approximate the two fingers we are losing the shamrock's window we are not seeing this kind of diamond shape we are not seeing this kind of diamond shape over here so this is called as the loss of shamrock's window and if there is a loss of shamrock's window then we are calling that as shamrock sign so there is a difference between these two things shamrock's window is physiological but when its shamrock's window is lost uh, then it is the clubbing of finger right so shamrock's sign so shamrock's sign is present in clubbing finger shamrock's window is present in normal people right so for now if you don't have clubbing so probably you must be having the shamrock's window right and you shall try that right now and if it is loosening if it is losing then it is the shamrock's sign so one more thing if the shamrock's window is very very small or very marginal that probably means that person is going towards the clubbing side right so that is the thing over here now how to examine the clubbing right or i mean what what are the methods by which you can examine the clubbing so methods of examination of clubbing right so let's talk about that as well methods of examination of clubbing right so uh, as you can see in this picture what we will be doing over here so let me summarize Uh, this so firstly what you need to do is that <clears throat> take the patient finger and take it at your eye level right and look tangentially now what you will uh, what you will do is that you know usually what is what i told you that in the clubbing what we are seeing it is detected by increase in the fluctuation of the nail bed right so i told you about the angle also that was a levy bond sign usually what happens it, because the clubbing is happening due to the proliferation of subingual connective tissue so what happens is that just beneath the nail bed there is a fluctuation present over there and we need to check this fluctuation how we can check this fluctuation this is very uh, very simple now as shown in this particular picture what you will do is you will take the patient finger and it should be placed on the pulp of your two thumbs so for example you are examining right this is these are your hands right these are your hands right and you are examining this is the patient hand this is a patient hand and this is the examiner hand right this is the examiner hand okay so examiner is used let's say and there is a patient in front of you so what you will do is you will take the finger of the patient and you will take the thumb right you will take your thumb now you will place the pulp of the patient finger right so this portion is the pulp of the patient finger with the black color i am showing you this is the pulp of the patient finger right 
you know the end portion of your finger that is the pulp right so pulp of the patient finger should be kept on your thumbs on your two thumbs so the this is your first thumb this is your second thumb right and the pulp of the finger is supported the pulp of the patient finger is supported on your two thumbs supported on your both thumbs right next step is that you need to <clears throat> place your index finger tips over the base of the nail so this is your index finger tip so this is your first index finger this is your uh, first finger first index finger of uh, i mean there is no first or second in the index finger there is only one index finger in one hand so in one index finger of left hand right say and one index finger of right hand let's say you placed it onto the nail bed of your patient finger understood or the base of the nail right you put it over there then what you did is gently giving the pressure to the base of the nail right and you are just you know holding the or stabilizing the finger with your stabilizing the patient finger with your middle finger over here with the left and the right right now what you need to do is just be very attentive over here you need to gently give pressure to the base of the nail by your index finger right so you will be putting the pressure towards this side with this finger so with your right index finger you will be pushing over the to the nail bed of the patient finger and you need to feel this pressure you need to feel this pressure by this finger <clears throat> so on one hand on the nail bed okay this is your right right index finger you are pushing the pressure you are putting the pressure slight pressure on the nail bed of the finger because there is a subungual connective tissue proliferation due to that what will happen <clears throat> when you will be putting the pressure over there if there is a clubbing you will felt this pressure or fluctuation in the nail bed in this particular finger <clears throat> that is your different finger right so that is the story of the, like that is the method by which we can examine the clubbing over there right i hope everyone is clear till now right now we shall move further and we shall talk about the degree of clubbing or the stages of clubbing in the stage one what happens is there would be a normal appearance and angle normal appearance and angle but there will be the increased fluctuancy of the nail bed increased fluctuancy of the nail bed in the stage one or grade one in the stage two there would be starting of the loosening of angle between the nail and the nail bed which i told you levy bond sign or the profile sign in the stage 3 the curvature of the nail will start increase and the stage 4 the anterior posterior and the transverse diameter will be increasing so expansion of the terminal phalanx and typical drumstick finger appearance will be seen in the advanced stages that is the stage 4 okay then we shall talk about some of the causes of the clubbing now according to the different uh, systems uh, you know we are having different kind of causes for example cardiac cause if you talk about <clears throat> very important is the two very important that is one is the uh, cyanotic heart disease and another one is the infective endocarditis these are the uh, top causes as far as cardiac causes are concerned other than that then there could be <clears throat> atrial myxoma there could be aneurysm there could be infected grafts which can cause the clubbing over there but uh, most importantly which i want you to remember over here is these two infective endocarditis and the cyanotic heart disease these are the two important cardiac causes which can cause clubbing very frequently in the patients as you if you talk about the pulmonary causes or the respiratory causes then uh, there could be the primary lung cancer or there could be the bronchogenic cancer or there could be the uh, bronchogenic carcinoma or the mesothelioma right this is the important cause which you need to remember in your mind <clears throat> then the pulmonary fibrosis which can uh, cause clubbing in the patient now along with that uh, there could be the bronchiectasis the some of the infections related to the lungs over there so ap pulmonary abscess or the empyema or the bronchiectasis cystic fibrosis now tb okay these many diseases can cause the clubbing over there some of the gi causes Uh, are also there which can cause for example the inflammatory bowel diseases ulcerative colitis crohn's disease <clears throat> the celiac disease or the malabsorption disease they can also cause the uh, clubbing over there right now th <clears throat> there could be some miscellaneous causes also for example thyrotoxic causes with the grave disease or the idiopathic causes are also there right when you are not able to find some cause then that is the idiopathic over there right 
So till now we have talked about many things about the clubbing. We have talked about the definition of the clubbing, the different signs in the clubbing. We have talked about the degrees of the clubbing, how to examine the clubbing. Uh, we, have we have talked about the causes of the clubbing over, over there as well. Right. So this is about the clubbing basically. Now while you are evaluating the clubbing, very important is to uh, take the history of the patient that what are the different questions we need to ask if you are examining the clubbing in the patient. So while evaluating the clubbing, so we are now we are going to talk about the evaluation of clubbing. So it is very important while you are seeing your patient who is having the clubbing. So please be attentive over here. So first question which you need to ask to your patient that what is the duration of the clubbing? Why it is important because usually in the cyanotic heart diseases, in the congenital cyanotic heart diseases, it is present since childhood. <coughs> Right. So in the congenital heart diseases, right, this might be present from the childhood. That's why the clubbing, you need to ask first question that is the duration over there. Second question which you might ask that do they smoke? Very important. Do they smoke? Right. Because if they are smoking, then it might be related to the bronchogenic carcinoma. Bronchogenic carcinoma or it might be IPF, idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. So it is help by asking the question, these kind of questions, it will help you to narrow down your diagnosis basically, that what is causing the clubbing or what might cause the clubbing, right? Is there any exposure to asbestos? If there is asbestos exposure, then you might think about mesothelioma, right? Then you might think about mesothelioma right this is purely clinical which i am telling you right now fourth question which you might ask your patient if they are having clubbing that is there any palpitations presence if they are <clears throat> you know usually feeling so if that is true then it is related to the heart again in that case it could be the cyanotic congenital heart disease again so cyanotic congenital heart disease it might be present if the palpitations are also there along with the clubbing. Next, do they have the dry cough present usually? If they are having dry cough uh, presence, presence over there, there might be the smoking as well. There could be the overlap between these two. Then it could, it could be the IPF, idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, or it could be the mesothelioma, or it could be the empyema, right, empyema, or it could be the mesothelioma, right? So these are the uh, things which can be seen in the patients, right? They might be seen in the patient if they are talking about these questions, right? So this is a checklist which you can ask <coughs> next time when you are visiting your patient who is having the clubbing. Do they have purulent sputum uh, frequently while coughing over there? So if it is purulent sputum, you need to think like, for example, what? You need to think some of the bacterial infections over there, right? For example, there could be the lung abscess or there could be the bronchiectasis where again and again sputum is coming due to the repeated, repeated infection, recurrent infection, right? So bronchiectasis, lung abscess, that could be the case in that scenario. Next question which you shall ask to them is that whether they have, uh, you know, experienced blood in their sputum. So hemoptysis is you need to take in these patients. If there is a hemoptysis, then it could be again bronchiectasis and the bronchogenic carcinoma, right? it could be the bronchi actesis and uh, it could be the bronchogenic carcinoma then you might ask that is this clubbing is it associated with the chronic abdominal pain so if it is chronic abdominal pain chronic abdominal pain then i told you that ibds inflammatory bowel disease like ulcerative colitis crohn's disease crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis right or malabsorption syndrome they could be associated with it like celiac disease and all right then <clears throat> if it is associated with the fever and all right with the clubbing if there is a fever and all present over there then it could be due to the bacterial infection for example bacterial endocarditis lung abscess right this is the lung abscess actually lung abscess or uh, there could be the uh, you know empyema or the bacterial endocarditis right 
so these are the things which you need to think about over there if there is a fever along fever presence or along with that because it is regarding the infection basically right <clears throat> so there are some conditions where the along with the clubbing other conditions might be present right so this comes under the physical examination so while you are examining your patient i told you about the history that what important questions you need to ask to your patient while you are uh, seeing the uh, patient having the clubbing over there so you know if you are physically examining your patient then look for the distribution of clubbing i mean the clubbing whether it is present to upper extremity only or it is present to the lower extremity as well or is it present in single digit only not the other digits so this kind of things you need to look over there as well right other than that then you need to find usually i told you that usually the clubbing is painless but what if the clubbing is painful so if the clubbing so if the clubbing is painful let's say then usually it is not seen if the clubbing is painful then it might be seen in the bronchogenic carcinoma right so please do remember that it might be bronchogenic carcinoma or it might be subacute bacterial endocarditis right subacute bacterial endocarditis okay and usually other condition usually it is painless right so that is one thing second thing if along with the clubbing if along with the clubbing there is sinusis as well there is sinusis as well then what you shall what you can think of then in those scenario you can think of first thing which which should come to your mind that is a sinusis to so sinotic congenital heart disease sinotic congenital heart disease right this is very frequently uh, present over there one more thing if along with the clubbing the patient is complaining of the joint pain right so if the symmetric arthritis is also present along with clubbing over there then what you need to think of then you need to think of very important hypertrophic hypertrophic osteoarthropathy okay hypertrophic osteoarthropathy right so these are very important things which we have which we have discussed uh, over here uh, in the in this particular topic that is the clubbing uh, i think we have uh, covered many important uh, things in this clubbing topic right so please go through it once again uh, if you haven't uh, if you have missed some some kind of points over here and uh, whenever you are seeing the patient having clubbing next time so please please make sure that you are asking such important questions and examine your patient thoroughly and make sure you are uh, you know applying this method of examination of the clubbing and make sure you check the fluctuation in the nail bed next time in your clubbing patient i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please leave your comment in the <coughs> comment section below and let me know your reviews as well i will see you in the next i will see you in the next one and uh, till now please take care and let's uh, So let's meet in the next video. Thank you.